there, and welcome to T-Mobile Home Internet. Let's take a look at what to expect on your first home internet bill and why it may look a little different from what you'll see going forward. To access your bill, log in to MyTMobile.com using your T-Mobile ID. Select View Bill or Bill and Pay at the top of the page. Let's check out some examples to better understand how your billing works. If you are an existing T-Mobile customer, your first home internet bill might be a little higher than expected. You'll see charges for days beginning from when your gateway ships, which starts your service, through your existing billing cycle. In addition, the first bill will include a charge for the next month in advance. For your following bill, you'll see a normal monthly charge that covers a one-month period, and things should start looking how you'd expect. If you are a brand new customer to T-Mobile, your billing will also begin once your device ships, which starts your service. Your first bill will include charges for the first full month and will be due within 21 days after your service has started. Whether you're an existing customer or new to T-Mobile, what you won't see are any extra charges for your gateway device. With T-Mobile Home Internet, what you see is what you pay with no hidden costs, price hikes, or other add-ons like Wi-Fi equipment fees. And if you want to make bill pay even easier, check out AutoPay. You'll save $5 a month by setting it up. Simply sign into your T-Mobile account using your T-Mobile ID, then turn on AutoPay to start saving. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about your first bill with T-Mobile Home Internet. Stay tuned as we continue to share ways to get the most out of your T-Mobile Home Internet service.